Good day. In this video, we will be looking at TBC 5.9 Point Cloud Deliverable Enhancement. We will focus on the Drape Objects on Point Cloud workflow. Let's now have a look at the Drape Objects on Point Cloud functionality in TBC. As you can see, I've already uploaded a Point Cloud that has been classified. First of all, let's create a polyline with no elevation for this functionality. Uh, just stick it on layer. Okay, the elevation will be zero. We won't close it. And the next point, let's quickly go and let's just add that in here. In 3D view, we should be able to see now that the polyline is not on the point cloud. Let's go to point clouds and then on the right hand side you'll see the drape object on point cloud functionality. Click on that, it opens the window. Now you need to select your CAD element. The point cloud you want to use, let's go with the ground and then Let's select the strategy. You'll see you have a few options over here. I'll just go with the average elevation, the search distance. So around where that vertex is, how wide do you want to have your search distance? I'll just make it one meter. The creation options, you can interpolate missing elevations. I'm not going to do that for now. The layer, we will keep it on that layer and we can delete the existing line. I'm not going to do that for now just to see the result. Once you've selected all these options, click apply. As you can see, TBC has now worked on bringing that polyline onto your existing point cloud that you selected and now you have elevations on that line. If we go into the properties, you can now see the minimum maximum elevation that has been added to that polyline. That is the workflow for drape objects onto point cloud.